Hello there! Once again, it's Anton from Antonimo Bay. Thank you for stopping by the collection room. Today, I'm taking a look at some action figures, but I feel like I need to introduce them because they're just that cool, I hope. Um, I was feeling completely nostalgic for some reason. I was longing for the, for the late 80s, the early 90s. And I don't know why, I was watching some old movies from then, and it, I just, I went to Walmart to get some supplies for supper, and I came across these. They were there at just the right time for me to be a total sucker and buy all four. Um, they're priced fairly reasonably. I think they're like $12 or $13 a piece. Um, and they are basically reissues of the original uh, toy line. They're kind of the same kind of design with some upgrades. I see some textures and some new articulations, new colors. But my nostalgia bone just took over and I got them. So let's get into them. Into them. I'm going to go ahead and just pop these things open. I am going to actually start in the order that I originally acquired all of them. And I feel like I should just open all of them because, uh, well, you know, if I, I'm not going to do one at a time here. It is essentially the team. Uh, I am going to try and do something I don't normally do either, which is kind of protect the box just a touch. I think that would be appropriate given how cool these packages look. Not normally uh, crazy about that, but I want to do that. So the first Ninja Turtle I ever found in stores was at Kmart, and it was Donatello. Donatello was my favorite, the one I wanted the most. Um, the only thing I wish that we would have got a bio card would have been fantastic, like the original uh, figures had. Uh, I'm fully prepared for these to be very well, very well uh, packed in here. My knife is not terribly sharp, so we'll, we'll be cautious. We do get a nice stand with all of them. That is cool, and I think these stands all click together. I saw that from the back. This is a piece of the back there. You get this weird double, I don't know what that is exactly. I don't know what you call that. I always remember the original Ninja Turtle package came with these. These are the same exact molds. They're just colored, which is kind of cool. That's another chunk of background. Throwing stars, which, I don't, I always like that they gave me these, but it's like, the, I'm going to lose these. I'm going to immediately lose those. We're going to set those over there. Uh, the staff is much nicer and longer than the original staff uh, issued with these. And it looks like we just got one seat belt on in here. So they might not be as hard to open as I was afraid they might be. I don't know what I'm going to do with those packages, but I'm going to save them anyway. Um, what do we have? What is the upgraded articulation? Definitely the color is very original. Donatello, the original Donatello is almost brown. And this guy is very brown. Um, we get, he originally just had a straight rotation like that. And a, a twisting at the upper, upper part of the arm. This we get a ball joint that rotates. Not a full 90, but that's pretty good. Um, ball joint at the shoulder that pops it up. The wrist rotation, so you can get a lot more range out of your, your basic thing. The face is pretty much the same, except that these are all textured with a, a lovely little rough uh, skin texture, which I really like. Ball joint at the hip. They've abandoned that one weird ball peg thing that usually broke on these, uh, so that is good. Uh, you've got a, a joint at the knee which rotates and pops. You know, it's like a ball joint that rotates and swivels. And then the ankles just swivel. So no pre-posed feet like your original figures would get. I like that because the original pre-posed feet always meant that you had to be basically in just that one stance, which was kind of one leg back. If I recall the original figure, which I probably still have, but it's, it's probably packed away somewhere. Uh, most likely in a closet in storage. I don't have the room to, to have everything displayed like I used to. If you guys have ever seen my old videos, you know I got kajillion figures and now I, I don't really have a kajillion anymore. Anyway, that is him. That is Donatello. He was the first one I ever picked up. I was super thrilled by it. Um, next up, I believe the next one I got was Leonardo. I know the last one I got, but I'm, I'm pretty sure the next one up was Leonardo. Um, 
very pleased with the, the Donatello. Let's see how the Leonardo stacks up. I'm imagining they, they probably got all very similar points of articulation and things going on with them. Get some of this packaging out of here. I'm gonna pop this out. Get our base free. Is the base the same? Uh, it looks like they're extremely similar. Like these are very similar molds. I guess we'll find out if they're all that way. This has a thing to go there, and I don't know where that goes, but I'm sure it goes somewhere on the base. Looks like we get another piece of diorama with Leo. This big, weird Klingon bath lat. A couple of throwing stars for us to lose. More of the strange triangle daggers, which uh, all the Ninja Turtles came with originally. Looks like we get a piece of diorama that looks like it could go right there. Uh, I can't tell if this is supposed to be a street or a roof. It's looking more like a roof now that the more stuff we get. Like a tar roof, flat tar roof. Uh, the next cut is the plastic package seat belt. We'll get these free. And it looks like Leo is rocking extremely similar um, articulation to Donnie. I kind of expected that. Um, because they can move, I mean, you don't, you're not really stuck in that same, you know, having to pre-pose them and everything like that. So maybe this wasn't that expensive of a venture for them. 2024 Viacom Playmates Toys, made in China. We do get some nice paint on these swords. I always love that. And I'm going to go ahead and armor him up and pop his swords in his hands. I, I like... I liked the original action figure um, look. It did not look like the comic book. It didn't look like the cartoon. It's like some weird hybrid in the middle. And personally, I always loved that the most. Next up on my acquisitions as a young child, I got uh, Michelangelo. Pretty sure I either had to trade him from my brother for something, or I had to pick him up at Walmart myself. Um, I don't even remember if the one I had originally was complete. Uh, he's kind of one of those that I did the best I could, but money was was not always flowing fully when I was you know when I was 10 I did the best I could uh, and my parents uh, were not the biggest Ninja Turtle fans so it's always hard to figure how I'm gonna get everything this is definitely a roof that is a roof piece get Mikey's weird uh, grapple hook thing from the later cartoon series. I'm setting all the other weapons over here in kind of a weird pile. Of course, we get the tiny throwing stars. Which that one already shot. It is already gone. Uh, may it go rest in peace with the rest of them that I had originally growing up. And let's see here. We can get these nunchucks out of the case. Real chain nunchucks, that is cool. I'm very happy with those, look at those. So much better than the original design. The original design, um, it kind of worked for like a little bit, but if you remember it had that plastic cable that went between them, and that eventually, if you bent it a couple times, that was gone. So you lost that, and then Mikey just had really short batons instead of nunchucks. I always thought it was tragic that they didn't design that better, and I noticed on all of the later uh, figures and designs of different, different companies made that they always went with an actual chain, which I thought was a vast improvement over the stupid string that breaks. Plastic twisty tie thing. Looks like Mikey has, it looks to me like the exact same uh, articulation. 
I am impressed by just how much a color difference makes in these. Like, they look really good. They, they really have the original uh, vibe to them. I know they're not the same, but sometimes uh, even subtle improvements through time can make a better product that I will love more than even the original nostalgic one. I'm not so nostalgic with stuff as to, uh, as to hate it when it's improved. So that's a thing, and that's that. And next up, the last one, for some reason, the most difficult turtle for me to ever get my hands on was Raphael. I ended up, I had a full set, these guys, of the original models, and the only Raphael I could find was the stupid, like, wacky one. And if you ever, if you remember the wacky turtles, they did not match the original motif of, of the original lineup. But that was the only raft I could have. They also did not have the same kind of articulation. It was not as good. Instead of the ball joint at the hip, they just had a rotation. And it was a pain. It was, it was, they were not, they were not great. He gets, oh, cool. He gets a ladder. That looks like that plugs over there. These dioramas they come with are very good. I have no idea what this monstrosity is. It just looks dangerous. I, I don't recommend it. The throwing stars, which we'll try to take out and maybe not lose. There we go. So yeah, I had a terrible time getting an original good Raphael. Um, in fact, I don't think it was till years later I finally got a Raphael. And at that, I think I traded him from a friend and he didn't come with his size. He didn't have his size, so I had to like kind of kind of manifest him some size from a uh, Karate Kid playset, and they did not match size-wise. They were a little bit too large. Uh, so my Raphael that I had growing up was always a mess. Uh, he just was wasn't right, and I I I I went a lot of years without having the right Ninja Turtles. The original Ninja Turtles I had I made out of string because I couldn't afford figures. Uh, but that is them. Those are the dioramas. I think that looks pretty fantastic. You get this big pile of other weapons, which I doubt I will use. Um, you get a whole bunch of throw stars and a whole bunch of little triangle daggers, which I also severely doubt I will use. And we'll try not to lose these. I'll probably put them in my one of my little cases, but uh, this is a beautiful set. I, it's a little pricier than maybe I wanted, but I can't really complain. I was willing. I I didn't even hesitate when I saw them. I was just like, "Oh, they have all four. I, I'm getting them all. I I can't leave them." Uh, I don't know if it was just the nostalgia of the day and what I really, really was craving. Uh, but these certainly hit the spot. They are a beautiful honor to the original ones. They are about the same height. They don't look any taller. I don't have any originals handy to compare size to, um, but they're they're a nice figure. I'm gonna I like these very much. Anyway, if you see these and you are also feeling nostalgic at the time, pop on them. I feel good about these. They feel well made. Uh, they're they're well, the deco on them is is good. They just feel good. Uh, they have a little bit more of the touches that I wish they would have had when they first came out. And they, they fixed it. They went back in time and took something that I love and didn't violate it. They just made it a little bit better. And I think that is a fantastic thing to do. So I would recommend these. Uh, if you see these at your local Walmart, jump on them quick. I have a feeling they're going to go fast. Uh, I really do. I still see those stupid uh, mutant mayhem figures piled everywhere. Nobody seems to be buying them. But I know people will buy these. So jump on them while you can. They even got their little initials on them. Anyway, that's my review. I love these. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And I will catch you guys later. Bye.